Hello, English lovers! Welcome back to my wonderful new World of Words series. As, like I stated before, as an English teacher, I think it's very important to discuss words that used to mean something today that means something totally different back in the day. So today, I have two special words to share with you guys today, just in time for this holiday season. And there's two very important words, are naughty and nice. You know, I'm sick of coming here all the time. But Jesus class and work is never going to get done. I told you we have this pro project to do. You didn't want to help me do it. Well, maybe I didn't want to do it. There's a difference. Weeba, why do I keep getting interrupted by these special guests all the time? I have no idea. Honey, I don't know what to tell you. Well, since you guys are here, Smurfette, why don't you can help me with the naughty and nice? Well, how can I help you with naughty and... You gotta be kidding me. I see why you're gonna help me. Because you two are the polar opposites. Especially you, Vexy. What do you mean? I get to be a star? Leave the stardom to me. As I was saying, I will say, according to this, the words naughty and naughty describes people from the 1300s that had nothing or were not. In some cultures, it also describes a nice person. Thank you. For that lovely description, Weeba. But this is my show. I apologize. I just wanted to add some spice into this. No spice needed, Weeba. No spice at all. Ugh, I was going to say that. But yeah, like my husband said, I'll reiterate. English term, guys. You know it. I used to describe people who had nothing. Or they called it not. It used to be me in college. But now look at me. I'm somebody. So, basically, I'm naughty, because I have nothing? No, I wasn't describing, I'm not implementing this to you, Missy. I'm just saying that's what it meant. And you basically have nothing for a grade either, so you really are naughty. <sighs> but you're nice, and you're supposed to be the naughty smur. That's what I'm trying to teach the lesson here. The words naughty and nice used to mean two different things. What? How? Now, how is that even possible? I don't know, we didn't look, enough, uh, look up enough facts to know this before this video. Uh, we uh, I told you we needed to look up more facts. It's not my fault you wanted to get some coffee. What can I help with? I need some energy to start the day. Jeez. So yeah, naughty and nice used to be total opposites. So you used to be naughty for being nice, and you used to be nice for being naughty. So I can continue to be naughty in your class? No! That's not what I meant. I thought you were going to get a nice beauty chain. You were going to have a nice awakening to be nice in my class after the final battle. But no, you didn't. You sounded to be a naughty little brat pride instead. What were you trying to lead to? Are you trying to tell me I have nothing? Not! Just get out of here. And you get extra credit anyways for being here. Oh, great. I get extra credit for doing nothing. So you're being naughty, Smurfette. She is naughty. I'm surprised you're nice. Because this is what I was supposed to read to in my world of words. The opposite meanings. Wait a minute. If you're nice, that means you're being naughty. If I'm being nice, I'm being naughty. We bet. Am I being naughty? No. You're being naughty. You're being nice, we bet. Honey, what? I, you're the one being naughty. You're being nice to me right now. I know, I know. I'm, I'm being nice to you by yelling at you. No, honey. I'm so confused. Oh. I have a headache now. Oh, maybe I need some coffee too. Oh, gosh, Don, I confused myself. Wait, that means I'm being, I'm being nice. Finally, I'm being nice for a change. I can tell Smith that I'm being nice. 